Hello. This is a short little video for those who, for whatever reasons, may be getting the COVID vaccination injections. I've recently had two myself and found that it was a pretty smooth process. I applied a certain approach and while I was doing it, I thought this might be worth sharing. The main thing that mindfulness teaches us is that what we bring to an event will have a strong influence over how the experience goes. Okay, let's break this up into parts. In preparation, the key is to be calm, relaxed and ready. One, be clear on why you're doing it. Certainty is really important and any hesitation or doubt may well affect how your body receives the injection. Two, it won't be a good idea to be anxious or resistant. In those ways, the body will be hypersensitive and more likely to have an extreme reaction. Three, before you go, Make sure that you are not stressed, tired, weak, or hungry. Four, if you find yourself perhaps sitting in your car about to go and get the injection, stop, compose yourself, and have a deep sigh. Let's try one now. Through the mouth, have a big breath in, and a deep sigh. Right. When you arrive, and as you go through the administrative parts and then the waiting, stay focused and quiet. Don't talk a lot, and don't be distracted by your phone. Stay present. Two, breathe. While you're sitting and waiting, focus on relaxed, gentle, breathing through your nose, slowly in and slowly out. Three, loosen your arm, the arm that you'll be getting the injection in. Loosen your fingers, the slow, calm movements, gently loosen the wrist, you don't want the muscles to be tight, particularly in the upper arm, bend the elbow a few times, nice and easy, and you know, you could gently raise the arm up and down, or just roll the shoulder, and really try to make the muscles, particularly here, very slack, very limp, especially at the moment as the needle goes in. Four, no pain now. This is a special yogic trick that I've applied many times when I go to the dentist. If you don't like getting an injection, or if you are worried about any pain, well, the best meditation is to say to yourself in your mind, no pain now, no pain now no pain now because while you're waiting there won't be the pain but if you build up dread and are very anxious then if your mind is tight the body becomes tight so the moment of the injection will be very quick the pain will be so short so most of that time there will be no pain you can be sure of that five Immediately after you've had the injection, you'll be asked to sit in a chair in a large room with lots of other people, usually for about 15 minutes. And this is a really important time. Sit quietly, be restful, close your eyes, and do slow, deep breathing through the nose. Slow and towards full, 
slow out towards it. And focus on moving the breath from your abdominal area. Stay with your body and support it as it negotiates this extreme intervention. Don't forget that your brain is immediately being affected. Your nervous system, your immune system. So, calmness is the most important thing. Being steady, not being distracted. And definitely don't look at your phone. Maintain this relaxed, calm approach. Continue with the breathing, if you can for the whole 15 minutes. Six, when you're ready to leave, walk away quietly and slowly. Don't rush, don't be distracted. If you have to go to your car and drive, first perhaps sit in the car, wait a few minutes and check your mental state because you may be feeling quite dreamy. Seven, Drink some water. At the least, you can probably expect to be quite fatigued, extra tired for the next two days. So allow for rest and don't be busy. And also perhaps avoid driving too much. Particularly over the first 24 hours, don't drink coffee and avoid white sugar. Other than that, I hope it goes well for you. Here's a little meditation to keep in mind. Whatever kind of life I experience, happy or suffering, healthy or unhealthy, gain or loss, rich or poor, living or even dying, May all these experiences and every action I do from now on be most beneficial for all sentient beings. May whatever happens in my life be most beneficial for all sentient beings. Even if I receive criticism from people, may it be most beneficial for sentient beings. Even if I receive praise from others, may it be most beneficial for sentient beings. If I am healthy, or even if I have a sickness such as cancer, may it be most beneficial for all sentient beings. Thank you very much. All the best.